All right, welcome to the video. So today we're going to be reviewing the five minute gap strategy that we've been using. So if you're unfamiliar with how the strategy works, this is gonna be episode two. We're just looking for the first five minute gap after 10 a.m. So that's all we're looking for. So we're just gonna mark out the uh, first gap after 10 a.m. and we're looking for a strict two to one risk to reward ratio on this particular strategy. So there's the first gap. Uh, let's see where our stop would be. Stop would be right here at 89. We are just going to use the whole number to make this a little easier. So entry would be right there at 46. Mark that out. So if we got short, at 46 stop at 89 we're gonna have to have the calculator for this because math is hard that's gonna be 43 handle stop so your stop would be 43 handles which means that you're looking for 86 handles for your take profit so if we're short from 446 minus 86 that means our target is 360 so let's mark out 360 here so there's 360 so if you would have got short here from 46 it trades back up into it tags you in and goes down to the target now it takes most of the day to get there we don't hit that target until 230 but this would have been a winner for 86, 86 handles on Friday. So that's a winner. So let's go back to Thursday and take a look at Thursday and see what we got. Let me just keep my calculator open. So we're looking for the first gap on Thursday after 10 a.m. And we'll mark it out. Let's find it. So here's 10 a.m. No gap, no gap, no gap small gap here so do have a bit of a small one right there so did price ever trade back into it and the answer is no let's just make sure that we're not overlooking anything here we're not so basically Thursday's no trade so on this particular strategy, there would be no trade on Thursday. And you're going to get some of that. Uh, that's the difference between the 15 minute and the five minute is sometimes there's no trade on the five minute. And that's why I tend to like the 15 minute just a little better, just because of the fact that uh, you're going to get a trade every single day. Now the advantages to the five minute is you, um, you're going to have bigger winners, but you're also going to have bigger losers as well. So that's the 10 a.m. five minute candle there. The gap can be on the 10 a.m. candle. So there it is. So that's going to be a loser. So let's check and see how much we lose that on this one. So the stop's at 15,552. And our entry is at 15,508. So let's just get our trusty calculator. It's just easier for me to do it this way. So this particular day on Wednesday, we lose 44 handles on this strategy. So let's go back to Tuesday. Let's go back to Tuesday and check it out. Where's 10 a.m.? Let's find it. So here's 10 a.m. So there is your first, your first gap here. Boom. So you would be getting short right here. And we'll just use one of these that are, let's get that one out of the way. We'll use this one. Stop would be there. So stop at the 654. You're getting short from 615. So 654 and 615. <clears throat> let's make sure we got that correct 
So this is candle. This is the middle candle. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's th that's a 39 handle stop loss. 78 handle take profit. <clears throat> so let's see what happens here. Um, so from 615, if we're looking for 78 handles, that means our take profit is going to be down at 537. So right in there. So what happens? The gap forms this in the morning. We don't get tagged in until 120. That 120 candle wicks up, tags us in, and runs to the target. So this was a nice 78 handle winner there on Tuesday. So let's move on back to Monday and take a look. And let's pick out the first gap after 10 a.m. So here's 10 a.m. There is a gap right here. It's not a big gap, but it's there. And it is a loser. So let's determine how much of a loser it is. So if we're getting short from 558, and then our stop is at 581. So let's do some quick math. 581 minus 558. That didn't work out. So we lose 23 handles on this particular day. So let's see how we did on the week. So we know we had a winning week. So we were up 86 handles on Monday, 78 handles on Thursday. And then we got a minus our 44 handles from Wednesday and our 23 handles from Monday. So we had a 97 handle winning week. 97 handles, if you follow the rules, is $1,940 positive this week. If you add that to the $3,800 that you made the week before, you are now up $5,740 on this strategy using one contract in just two weeks. That's if you followed the rules. You entered when you were supposed to. You took profit when you were supposed to. And you didn't move your stop. Now, there's the burning question. Did we capture $1,940 this week? We did not. Shocker. We didn't follow the rules. Um, Monday, we did take the loss. Tuesday, which was this day here, I had the order on, this, on, the, on the screen, but I had stuff to do, so I walked away from the computer. So I, And it was around 11.30. So I didn't think we were ever going to get tagged in because we had already ran to the target here. So we'd already exceeded the target. So I said, I don't think we're going to get tagged in. So I took it off the, I took it off the book. And what happens? We get tagged in and we miss this big 78 handle winner. So I didn't even take this trade. So I didn't capitalize on that winner. And then this trade we did take. Shocker. We take the losers. <laughs> but we don't capture the winners. And then um, the Thursday trade was a no trade. And then Friday we did actually get the winner on Friday. But I did not get the full 86 handles. I actually, I took profit. I broke the rules. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm still working on this, guys. I'm not perfect either. But on this pop back up, I didn't love it. So I took profit at 96, 96 right there. So short from 46, took profit at 96. So still captured 50 handles on this particular one. But obviously, we could have had our full target. Um, so something I'm kind of working on next week. I've dedicated myself to following the rules on all these mechanical strategies. It's, it's harder than it looks. I mean, it really is, even though I back tested it and I know that they work now we're in the forward testing process and the percentages are not lying. They're still showing that they're working. 
Uh, last week, we had two winners, three losers. I'm sorry, three winners, two losers, and I had a big winning week. This week, we had two winners, two losers, and one no trade. And, uh, and it's still a nice winning week. You can just imagine $1,940, say you're trading five accounts. I mean, that's a huge week, $10,000. So just something to keep in mind. If you guys are interested in trading futures, I do recommend Top Step. We do have the link in the description for Top Step. Um, if you sign up for the 50K account right now using my link, you'll get it for $39. We do have Apex as well, 80% off going on there, 40% off on Bulanox, links down below. I do realize the uh, banner still says Walmart Trade. I forgot to change it, and I realized it after I started the video, so sorry about that. We'll get that updated for you guys. But if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe. And I'll be live at 9.15 9 a.m. on Monday for next week's session. We're going to follow the rules. And uh, we're going to capture all this profit next week. I'll see you next time.